I stand here with the police chief and the district attorney to again denounce the violence. The tragedy of last night cannot be repeated. All of us make, must take a stance against violence. And it doesn't matter who you are or what your politics are. We have to all stop the violence. For those of you saying on Twitter this morning that you plan to come to Portland to seek retribution, I'm calling on you to stay away. You, of course, have a constitutional right to be here, but we're asking you to stay away and work with us to help us de-escalate this situation. And Portlanders, I'm asking all of us to do our part too. One death is one death too many. Join me in denouncing all violence. Let's pull together in the name of peace and humanity. We don't always have to agree, but we've long done so without violence. That's part of what makes this nation strong. Let's end this long, hard summer and come together and work to support and lift each other, not tear each other apart. I'm going to continue to work with the community on the historic changes that we've already made and have committed to making as we reimagine what public safety and racial justice can look like in our community. And we'll continue to do that work in the weeks and the months ahead. There's so much work to do, and I'll be intentionally engaging the public as we proceed along these, the, proceed to uh, engage in that hard work together. Yesterday's events began with hundreds of cars filled with supporters of the president rallying in Clackamas County and then driving through downtown Portland. They were supported and energized by the president himself. President Trump, for four years, we've had to live with you and your racist attacks on black people. We learned early about your sexist attitudes towards women. We've had to endure clips of you mocking a disabled man. We've had to listen to your anti-democratic attacks on journalists. We've read your tweets slamming private citizens to the point of receiving death threats. And we've listened to your attacks on immigrants. We've listened to you label Mexicans rapists. We've heard you say that John McCain wasn't a hero because he was a prisoner of war. And now you're attacking Democratic mayors and the very institutions of democracy that have served this nation well since its founding. Do you seriously wonder, Mr. President, why this is the first time in decades that America has seen this level of violence? It's you who have created the hate and the division. It's you who have not found a way to say the names of black people killed by police officers, even as people in law enforcement have. And it's you who claimed that white supremacists are good people. Your campaign of fear is as anti-democratic as anything you've done to create hate and vitriol in our beautiful country. You've tried to divide us more than any other figure in modern history. And now you want me to stop the violence that you helped create. What America needs is for you to be stopped so that we can come back together as one America while recognizing that we must demand that all people, black, brown, white, every color, from every political persuasion, pull together and hold all people accountable in stopping racism and violence. And we together are peaceful again under new leadership that reflects who we really are. We the people of this great nation. President Trump, you bring no peace. You bring no respect to our democracy. You, Mr. President, need to do your job as the leader of this nation. And I, Mr. President, will do my job as the mayor of this city. And we will both be held accountable, as we should. 
I'm also calling out every other elected official in Oregon to join me, not only in defeating racism, but also in helping me to stop the violence, as we are and will continue to be held accountable by all of our residents. Today, we need to decide who we are and where we want to go from here. Don't let this be the spark that sets off an acceleration of hostilities in our beautiful city. Those are not our values. What happened last night does not move us forward. It sets us back. I know the values of this community. I was born and raised here. I found my living here. I raised my family here. This is where I want to be, and I know the values of this community. We want to protest powerfully and peacefully. We believe that black lives matter. And we believe that it's the responsibility of our leaders to ensure that the systems that we have in place to protect and serve do so equitably. Let's engage with each other in thoughtful dialogue about reform and use the power of our shared values to move forward together. We must recommit our energy and our resources to advancing the work of reform and the transformation of our systems. We've seen the positive power of collective and focused and nonviolent action. We've seen the change. Our responsibility to each other is to keep moving forward. Portland is counting on its leaders, the city, the county, the state, our federal partners, to partner and use the collective power of our officers to create a better future for all of us. Thank you. I'm Egberto Willis, host of Politics Done Right, an independent news program. I post several news videos of interest every day. I ask you so kindly to subscribe to my channel and please leave me some comments. Thank you very much.